Where you go, I'll go Where you stay, I'll stay When you move, I'll move I will follow My name is Susan Muse, and I'm a native of Haywood County. Uh, six generations. I have four children and five grandchildren. I came to New Covenant Church in 1983 with three little bitty children and uh, back at the cleaners building. And I was here for 18 years. I served, uh, originally was the first nursery worker that we had. And then I went from there to the worship team and from the worship team to the first dance team and then to the first banner and the pageantries and the flags. And so I served in that capacity for 18 years. And then uh, my grandson was born. He was born with uh, airway disease and disabilities. I dropped out. I got mad at God because uh, I'd served him so well, <laughs> pride, <laughs> and uh, how could he do this to me? So I dropped out for 10 years, and in the course of that 10 years, uh, things didn't go real well. I uh, came to my senses one day and came home, and since then I realized that I had some people praying for me, and my heart is to see other prodigals that are out there in the wastelands that need to come home. And then once they get come home, they need to be received into the body and receive the Father's love. And the sons and daughters that are here need to have open arms. And we need to pray them back in because they're out there hurting really bad because they're not in Father's house. I am one of the growing community of grandparents raising their grandchildren. Uh, one of my sons is 13 and he, I adopted him. He's my grandson and now he's my son's son. And uh, then I have custody of two of my grandchildren, Lottie and Dallas, four and five, that currently we all go here to New Covenant Church. When my daughter started having trouble with the kids, I was praying and I was praying and I was praying, God protect the children, take care of the children. And in my heart, I was wanting God to fix my daughter. And they kept coming back to me and kept coming back to me. And for the last time I said, God, why are you not answering my prayers? And he said, I am. I sent them to you and you're to protect them. Wow. And it just opened up my eyes to realize that was my ministry to them and that God had sent them for me to take care of them. And it made it easier to do. Last week, Dallas, we were going up the hill and there was beautiful pink sunrise and Dallas goes, look, look, Nana, look what Jesus painted this morning. I'm prompted, and it just touched my heart, and I know it's a result of the teaching that we're receiving now in family and in the uh, children's ministry, and uh, it just means a lot to know that that support is there. Family can support each other so much, but they've got their own issues. I mean, even in my family, this has happened, not just to me, but... Uh, to other members of my family. And um, until I came back to New Covenant Church a year ago, I didn't have a whole lot of support other than my family that was already drained. Being a grandparent raising her grandchildren has got a lot of rewards. Uh, I know I lose my time and I lose my sleep, but when they come in and they tell me that Jesus loves me and God has a plan for your life and God is always with me, it just makes all the difference in the world because I know only Jesus can change a life and he's starting with these little children. I've only spoke on one other video. I try to let other people uh, represent uh, the relationships that they have, but I couldn't pass up Susan Muse. I've known her for at least 25 years. Uh, I knew her and her family as they helped build New Covenant to be the church that it is today. She was over our arts ministry and very instrumental in taking us to a whole nother level. I've seen Susan at her very best, and I've also seen Susan at her very worst. And I want you to know that God has been faithful to her through both seasons. She is genuine, she is real, she is kind and compassionate. She will sacrifice to a fault, and she's a true asset to our church. I've been back now for a year, and in the course of that year, I started out with Transforming You, 
I dealt with the, the issues and the anger. God is going down the list of what the Spirit of the Lord is doing in my life. And it's been the ministry of New Covenant Church that gave me my deliverances, healing my broken heart. And, and, you know, and that's what I think I'm supposed to do now is uh, give back what God has given to me of, of the deliverance that I've received in the healing and uh, setting the captives free and preaching the good news that you can come home. You know, you don't have to be out there. God loves you and He's been waiting on you. And that's, that's what I think I'm supposed to be doing. A peer support specialist is someone whose history has become their ministry. And I'm trained to deal with other people that have similar experiences as me. And in my lifetime, I've got a front and back page of experiences that, that I can help people with. So I'm, <laughs> that's what I am as a peer support specialist. I used to think that ministry was uh, being on the platform or in the pulpit or leading a group. And now I've come to realize that my ministry is one-on-one, -on -one, looking into the eyes of little children that are grateful that they're safe. And now I know that my ministry is all for one. This life I lose, I will follow you.